Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today it's another Tales of 69 Minutes speed drawing, this time with the theme of Umbrella. You could stand under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, uh. Anyway, so when I first read the theme, I kind of immediately knew what I wanted to do with it. It just became a matter of who was going to be the character in it. I really wanted to stay away from characters that are known to have umbrellas, like say, Edna from Mysteria. And I was right because a lot of people did Edna. So I just wanted to do a character that doesn't typically have an umbrella, I guess. And I guess I defaulted to Abyss characters as usual since Abyss and Mysteria are my favorite games. I kind of default to them when I can't think of anyone to draw. And I did default to Kai Cecil from Abyss. So that right there was me looking for a reference on how to draw an umbrella because I kind of forgot how it looks like from the top view. I wasn't really aiming for a fully extended umbrella. I wanted something that was slightly crumpled so it would give this effect that it was being held back a little. So you could say this particular um, speed paint is actually easier than the usual because I did start with a good idea of what I wanted to do unlike in other some of the more older speed paints for this challenge I just dove in head first so I really don't have much to say for this particular speed paint uh, it is a normal, good, no problems stream. Also forgive me if the volume of my voice changes because my new phone's mic is very sensitive and it actually picks up a lot of background noise and it does receive sound very well and I'm still adjusting to that so I'm trying out several techniques to make things um, sound better so give me a few videos to try and adjust things and yeah. So the key element to this entire picture is actually the background. Without it, the entire mood and feel of the drawing wouldn't be conveyed correctly. So I really had to put in a lot of time, or a lot, a lot of, a budget, a lot of time into the background itself, even though it's done in a very crappy manner. But without it, it, it wouldn't just work as well.
to be honest, his hair looks a little bit flat here, but I didn't to want to spend a lot of time fixing it anymore, so I left it as is. Surprisingly, the hand didn't give me a lot of problems this time. I don't know why. Maybe because I didn't have to adjust the height of the fingers. Or, I don't know. It was easier for me this time. Which is a miracle, to be honest. So for the umbrella, the concept that I had for, with it was that I wanted it to be a bit, I wanted it to look a bit worn in the sense that you know how when umbrellas get a bit old and they get stained and dirty with dust and stuff and its folds and creases would get a bit dark and stuff. That's what I wanted to go with this. I didn't want it, I didn't want it to be like a spanking, sparkly banyo umbrella. I wanted it to be a bit used you know i don't know why i just felt like it would give this drawing a bit more character So for this roof, I did do my best to try to match it to the, or at least make it complementary or the same tone as the color of the umbrella, just so that it would tie in the umbrella a, a bit more with the entire piece. I didn't want it like standing out as the only red color, so that's pretty much it. And the background was supposed to be a bit more detailed, but I guess I wasn't sure of how much time we had left. I just really did away with a lot of things I wanted to do like for example I wanted to work I wanted to give the walls a, a few more details like maybe a siding or a post or a door or a window even but I just didn't do that anymore as for this um, I'm adding a slightly cooler blue to it as in a multiplier layer just so that it would give the piece a, a, a good a better rainy mood I guess because it is too warm. So we're just adding some rain drops just to give it a little bit more mood. So we are nearing the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want if you like this. Like this too if you want. And follow me on Tumblr, Event Art and Instagram. See you around.